Okay, to quote out an IG unit, I'm going to start out by selecting a customer. James, there he is, George. And then we're going to enter a customer reference. Now this might be uh, something you like to use to identify the job internally, or it might be your own customer's purchase order number. Next, we're going to create a job, and I'm going to choose one of our library jobs because they come preset with Smart Toolbox, and they help us save a lot of time and keep things looking professional. So this adds down a basic description and an IG unit pre-built. So I'm going to go ahead and enter my dimensions. And I've got three panels I need to enter for this quote. So I can use the shortcut key, which is Control G, to quickly add in each item. And then I'm going to click over here on the installation component and update this to reflect the time needed to install this job, which is going to be four hours today. And we're done. So I can view the quote. We can check the customer's details. We can check the cost and price down the bottom. Over the page, we've got fine print. And if we're happy with it and ready to send it out to the customer, we can email straight from the software, save to PDF or print. So once we do that and we close out, the software is going to prompt us to update the status. Uh, you can see in the top left corner, it's currently sitting in a draft status and it's asking me if I would like to update it to send to customer. I'm going to click on yes and that will lock the quote down, add a little padlock to stop anyone changing anything by accident and also set the follow up date for four days time. So that's a quick overview of how to quote an IG unit in Smart Toolbox. If you'd like to see a full demonstration, then send us an email or jump on our website and request a demo. Thanks for watching.